Hello and welcome to Furrier's World, where we are back in Project Ozone 2 land. And uh, there's been a little, few little minor changes. Obviously, you you knew about that. I haven't don't really don't really think I've shown it to you from this angle. Don't come up here very often. <coughs> it's very scenic, very very scenic. Lumium, lumium is a pain in the in the butt. Uh, I need to fuel the thing with blazing pyrothium if I'm going to to be doing any lumium work. Unless I can get a source of energized glowstone piped into it, which I can probably do. I knew I'd kill something over there. But one thing I've done is extend the platform extensively. Uh, I'm keeping the farm side as it was. It just happened with the builder's wand. I made a nice new diamond builder's wand. One diamond, worth the effort. Made that much more slab. And I've also added down here three crucibles over Eulorian blocks and... This this bad boy's filling it up with with uh, cobblestone, and then I've got three magmatic dynamos, some power going out to a pulverizer and a redstone furnace that I can use for my own malicious ends. Uh, but right now, I want to make an induction smelter. That's what I want to make. So I need invar, a redstone reception. So it's gold invar, redstone, a bucket, tin, iron. Okay. So we need gold, uh, iron, tin, uh, one, two, three, four, tin, uh, redstone, a couple of them. Uh, we need to make, uh, we can just punch down through the thing, can't we? Like that, make the tin gear, then we can punch down through it and make the machine frame like that. We've got two buckets on us. We need that thing made like that. We need invar now. And all the invar is living down here. Everything else is living there now, but the invar still lives in this box. We've got a bit of it. We made we made some more. Um, I needed it, so I, I I made it. It's just that's just the way I roll. Hello, why? Didn't we just pick did I just do the stupid furry dance? Where did the invar go then? I'm sure we just picked up the invar. Where did it go? I, I don't know what just happened. Well, we'll have to take the invar block then as well. I don't know quite what happened there. I just had like half a stack of invar and it's just vanished. Sometimes this game derps and it makes me sad. But hey ho. Hey ho, right, we want Invar gear. Two of them. Perfect. And then we should be able to make that job in the bob. There we go. That's one less bucket in our inventory as well. With this thing, we can. You can make Lumium in it, but it's a faff to do. Uh, and we don't want faffing. No faffing. Utterly no faffing. So, we'll just lock that off for now. These are just, just handy machines for me to use when I need to make something in a hurry. So, that's it's, it's, it's at a quick dash. One I also want to make is the Magma Crucible, which I believe is... Fluid Transposer. Magma Crucible. And I need Nether Brick for that. And that can be made from Nether Bricks, which is made by smelting Nether Rack. And we've got some Nether Rack somewhere. We does have netherrack somewhere. What else do we need to make this thing? Two invar gears. A leadstone energy cell. Block of redstone lead. Okay, can we get that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're running low on the glass now. The glass is, is kind of disappearing fast. We've got enough to make a leadstone energy cell, but... There we go. But... Everything else is kind of going fast. We need two more Invar gears. Excellent. And we need that thing. We need another gold for that, don't we? And another uh, redstone, actually. There we go. Uh, where was it? That, that, that. Where the hell did all that Invar just come from? It's a mystery to me how these things work. And we also want tin gear. We didn't get enough tin. One, two, three, four. Oh, we haven't got any glass, have we? Glass is down here somewhere. I'm sure we've got more glass down here. If we haven't, we should. We damn well should have. 
we haven't. Okay, that's okay. That's that's not an end an end of the world moment. We'll just just leap grab. Oh yeah, forgot about that. Walking on air is a thing. Oh, we ended up with three stacks of sand. Forget it. Forget it, sand. You're just being unhelpful. I will just put that in there, and the rest of it can go back in the system. Because why not? Uh, that's not gone in. Has that gone in? That's gone in. Okay, good, 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 good. So we should that should get us four glass fairly chop chop. There we go, chop chop. Jobs are good. So we want that, 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 Tingir, Bosch, and then that, 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 Bosch. And we just want the nether bricks now, so we need to find the netherrack, where if we put that, there it is. And we need to smelt that off too. Uh, so you can go in there and you can have that. We need, what do we need? Eight of them, eight of them. Nether bricks. This should give me nether bricks. We need eight to make the, the nether thingies that we want. Alright, so the invar can go back in this chest. We need to get more. There's the invar. Oh, was I being exceptionally dumb there, or, or did that actually disappear? I just don't know. I got a bit more glass anyway. We're running low on fuel. Oh, no, we're not, are we? I thought we were running low on fuel, but I don't think we are. I can check up here. And, oop. There we go, a stack of coal, just like that. That can go in there and cook off nicely for me. We need to cook off some coal anyway for when we get around to building the big reactor. Did we complete any quests? Oh, we've opened up Theta, look. That's an amazing Theta. Ah, ah, ah. We need 16 gold on us. We can do that by sieving the crushed netherrack, or we could just pull a some gold out of here. How much gold is in here now? Okay, we can pull a stack out. That will complete the quest. Then we can put the gold back. Sweet! That was easily done. That was a nice little side quest tick box job. Loot quest claim done. Okay, good. Uh, and that's going to give us some sort of shenanigans. Oh, we finally got the tubes. Look. The tubes, they were a long time coming, but we finally got them. The tubes, you see. The tubes of joy viaduct. Long-range viaduct. Long-range linking viaduct. All good fun. All good fun. So we can use them to get from one end of this platform to the other. Handy-dandy-like. Uh, so what are, we, what are we waiting on now? Oh, nether bricks. That's what we're waiting on, isn't it? We're just waiting on these fellas. Have we got enough now? So we can go whoop, whoop, whoop. And that's going to make us two of them all we need. Bop, 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 bop. And then we should be able to make this thing. Bop. One magma crucible. Perfect. And this, I believe, with this unit, we can get a one step closer to our Lumium. That's, that's, you know, even though I'm kind of giving up on the Lumium, I'm not entirely giving up on the Lumium. We'll put that there and we will just... I think we're going to put a tank on top of it. Just a bog standard tank. So we want that there. And if we get some glowstone dust, which is this fella. Get a stack of that. Chuck that in here. And that should create delumium. Oh, it's doing something. Well, the energized glowstone anyway. That's step one of a process to create lumium ingots. It's a. It's not a short process. I'm not going to lie. It's quite a long, baggy process. It would have been better if I could have just banged it in the smeltery, but that wasn't meant to be. So we're not going to. We're not going to gripe too much about that. Um, what else do we need? We need that tank, don't we? That tank is currently missing in action. Where's the tank? Oh, are you here? Yes, you are. Hello, tank. Thanks for that. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah. Well, I thought it was funny. It, it po possibly wasn't. I may have been mis mistaken there. Boop. There we go. Filling up nicely with yellowy funk. And then we're going to pipe that into the smeltery somehow. This is a thing apparently you can do. 
uh, what I want to do is if we've got any more, we have got seared bricks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is make another valve thingy on the side of the smeltery. I don't know why I laid it out like that. That was just craziness. That was just craziness. So we want it there, I think. It kind of ruins the smeltery a little bit, but there we go. It should be back in. Everything should still be in. It's good. So we want a fluiduct. Do we want hardened? We probably want hardened fluiduct. This is probably a, a hostile fluid. We don't want that to drain, though. Hmm. That could be awkward. That could be a mite awkward. What we do want is that there. So we can put the tank against it. We want this to be draining the right way. How are we doing down here? That's all done. The tank is full, so we'll take the tank. Shazam. And we'll see if we can get this into the smeltery. Apparently this works. Apparently this works, but I'll believe it when I see it. Um, that needs to be an output. Like that. And then you just go... Poot. Well, that's gone somewhere. Okay, that's gone in there. We've got quite a bit of energized glowstone in there. Then we need some silver and tin. Have some tin. Have some silver. I don't know how much, but we'll throw some in. Uh, have some of that. Have some of that. And then have some of that. There we go. See what that gives us. How much lava? Could do with a little bit more lava in there. Not a problem. We have lava supplies. So lumium isn't as far off as I thought. I mean, two machines, and we kind of we kind of getting in the right ballpark. Uh, take that away and that away. We get the rest of that lumium in there, just in case. Just in case we need it. I don't think we will. I think we're going to have energized glowstone. I keep saying lumium, don't I? It's like, what is this muppet on about? Ridiculous human being. There we go. That's now. I guess it's full. Yeah, it might be full. Whatever. It's got two chances, but that is empty. That's an empty machine now, so that's good. We've got two more machines, and one of them is empty. We are making progress. Real, real, hard, solid progress. So the silver's gone in. Oh, we've got molten. We've got eight ingots of molten aluminium. I think we need to throw a bit more tin in there. Tin. This is going to help with the aluminium crisis. I think it's like multiple tins per ingot of lumium or something like that. I don't I don't actually know. We got loads of energized glowstone left. Loads of it. Which is good because we can use that to make uh faster item conduits. Impulse item conduits. An impulse item conduit is made with uh impulse item duct. Yeah, how do we make them? Oh, you just make an item duct, which we've got, and then you, you, you pour, you use the fluid transposer to pour stuff onto it. Alright, so how much? We've got eight. We need this tin to pop a little bit. This should go fairly soon. We need crossbow body and crossbow limb, and I think this is going to make things much superior for us. How much we got in there now? Sixteen. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's give it a bash. Let's see what happens. Still got tin and silver in there. Silver's only got one ingot left, but should be enough. Okay, cool. How much is in there now? 11 ingots. All right. Pull one of them. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to do it, guys. I think we're going to do it. I think we've actually gone and done it, you know. Let's pop that back where it belongs. Pop this back where it belongs. In there. No. In there. Get some iron to repair this damn thing. Uh, you need to be repaired with iron. Like that. Excellent. Then you need one of these. Sweet. And you need one of these. Sweet. Shift. 
We've got a draw speed of quarter of a second now. That is amazing. So we can go... Now we're going to do some damage. That was what we wanted. We've now got the ultimate weapon. And 11 ingots of lumium left. Okay. We'll get that out of there. 11. We can pour a block of lumium. And two ingots. Blood Moon is rising. <laughs> yeah, you're running a risk tonight, boys. My arrows are now struggling to keep with uh, keep up with with demand. I suspect. So we've got some repair repair and aids ready for if we need to repair the crossbow. We might stick repair on it because you know it's a it's an expensive commodity to be to be bandying about now. Now that we've got the lumium on it. Let's see what stats we've actually got on this thing. We've got... Stat draw speed is phenomenal. Arrow speed's phenomenal. Everything's phenomenal on it. It's a well-pleasing weapon. And that was made by just, just fashioning two more machines. Where's the worst blood moon in the world? Where is everybody? Anybody? Nobody? The moon's up. Where's where's all the Where's all the... The, the cronies. There's a crony over there. I saw a crony. Oh, hello. Oh, man. Have we still got capacity on this, this thing? Uh, skill levels like new plus. We can't level it up anymore. How many bonuses? How many, how many mods? We've got seven modifiers on it. So we could make it faster still. I don't think we need to, but we could. Pop. Pop. I mean, it's insta-killed. Anything shows up, it's just just insta killed. We just chase that turkey round in the sky. We weren't never gonna hit him, but you know, bit of fun, bit of fun. Fun's always good. But I think for now, from Furrier's world, that's where we're gonna leave it. We've had success. I'm happy. Ta-ta.